guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing great. So I've done a couple of videos on this channel as well as my main channel where I add too much ingredients into slime. So today I'm going to be taking those slimes and I'm going to try to fix them and possibly give them a makeover. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do enjoy it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and if you could maybe click that subscribe button, that would be so, so awesome. But before we do get started, I want to give out a huge shout out to my notification squad. Thank you guys so much for your comments. And if you aren't part of the notification squad already, all you have to do is turn on your post notifications and leave me a comment down below to be featured in my next video. And now without any further ado, let's get started with the makeovers. Okay guys, so the first slime we're going to be fixing is a clear slime in which I added too many sequins. This is about 10 months old I think and as you can see the slime has completely melted so all of the sequins have sunk to the bottom and the clear slime or should I say glue has now turned orange. It was completely clear when I filmed the video. I don't know, it's kind of weird because the sequins are like blue and green, so I'm not really sure how the clear slime turned orange. As you guys just saw, I very carefully poured out the slime, avoiding all of the sequins, and I'm now going to go ahead and reactivate it. By the way, if you guys want to watch the original adding too much ingredients into slime videos, I will leave the links for them in the description box so you can check out like what I did exactly in those videos. The slime did feel a tad bit rubbery, so I added some hair gel. You can also use body lotion to soften it up, but because this is a clear slime, I prefer using hair gels because it is like clear. And when you add like body lotion, it does kind of make your slime a bit like foggy. Now you can go ahead and start giving your slime a makeover. So this orange color isn't really popping, so I am going to add some pink food coloring. To change up the texture, I decided it would be really nice to add fishbowl beads. So I am using some clear ones and then I'm also going to add some pink. Whenever I make fishbowl slime, I love adding in glitter because it really gives the slime dimension. I'm not really sure how to explain it, but it really makes like a difference. So I'm adding in uh, some fine iridescent glitter and then I'm going to add some pink chunky glitter. I also thought it'd be really cute to add some pearls into the slime. Once you're all done, you want to put your slime in an airtight container so it can clear up. By the way, I know the slime looks slightly darker in color. That's because I did end up adding in a few more drops of the food coloring. And yeah, basically now I'm decorating my slime by adding in some more glitter and then this charm on top. This was the slime before the makeover and here it is after. I love, love, love this slime. It's so much fun to play with and it makes the best bubble pops.
for the second makeover, I'm going to be using this clear slime in which I added too many water beads. Now I know this doesn't look like a lot of water beads, that's because it was like a huge fail. You can check out the original video, I'll have the link for it below. But anyway, the slime has melted as you can see and what I'm gonna do is take like this, I don't know, this is not a strainer, it's like, I don't know what you call it to be honest, but I'm gonna use this to strain out all of that glue and yeah, you can pretty much see what I'm doing. Once that's all done, I'm gonna go ahead and reactivate my slime. I'm going to divide the slime into two equal parts and add in some pink and blue food coloring. Also, I didn't include the footage, but I did add iridescent glitter into both of these slimes. I want to turn these into crispy slimes, so I'm going to add in some fake snow. And this is plastic snow, not instant snow. Once both of the slimes were completed, I put them in a container half and half and I'm going to top it off with some more iridescent glitter and then I also added these uh, heart-shaped sprinkles and for the charm, I'm going to be using this star charm that I made using polymer clay. This was the slime before the makeover and here it is after. I love the slime and the color combination because it reminds me of cotton candy. So yeah, I love the way this turned out. And that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you all are having a fantastic day. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next one.